Are you looking for a gift for that special someone in your life who loves the Nintendo Switch? If you'd like to keep your cost down, I have a great option for you coming right up. Okay, so today we're going to cover this aftermarket Nintendo Switch product, which you can find on Amazon uh, for around $33, $35. Uh, I saw some other older models now down around $25 and I did also see this particular item on wish.com for around $19 so there are varying prices even within this particular model. Now this model was manufactured by companies I saw on Amazon called Alamoxy or Kudami, Kudame, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Uh, I'll put the manufacturer names in the descriptions below. Now before we get started, I want to let you know that my company personally owns 12 of these controllers. So we've had a good chance to let the kids in our trailer play with these items. And I've also had a chance to kind of, you know, test them out and put them to use. And so that's why I can recommend these particular controllers. Now when comparing this controller in size, it's very comparable to an Xbox controller with the middle being slightly slimmer than what you find on the Xbox in the middle. Uh, the length is roughly the same size but since it's slimmer it does have a bit of a you know playstation dual shock feel to it as you can see here the handle comes with a slight rubber grip to help with handling and grip of the controller which is a nice added benefit as the rest of the controller is a harder smooth plastic moving on the thumbsticks are an offset design like you'll find on the xbox controller uh, the movement of the thumbsticks are responsive and fluid i feel However, the tips of them, even though they do have a bit of a rubber feel to it, I do think they're still a bit too smooth, which I believe could cause to some slipping during gameplay. The buttons are in the usual Nintendo Switch Pro Controller layout, and I haven't noticed any major issues in responsiveness. Uh, they do get the job done and do not feel overly cheap. The bumpers and the trigger buttons feel natural with a good feel of pressure. The last feature on the controller is the D-pad, and this is one of the downsides of the controller. The D-pad is in a bit of an awkward spot, but I'm not sure where else you know they could put it. It does kind of harken back to the Xbox design, but the quality of the D-pad is definitely felt in the controller. So now that you've decided to purchase this particular controller, and you're excited, it comes in the mail, you open up the box, and you'll quickly realize that there are no instructions with the controller. And what this means is when you are first trying to sync your controller to the console, you may not know how to do that. Well, I'm going to save you that trouble right now by explaining what the steps are. As it turns out, in the newer models that I purchased, there are actually instructions in the box, which is great. So these do show you how to pair your controllers in the instructions. So if you have the newer models, you'll probably have this with you. But if for some reason you purchased an older model recently still, I don't believe they're going to have the instructions in there. The first eight that I bought did not have any instructions. So if you need help with pairing your controller, then please continue watching this part. If not, please go ahead and skip to this section. First, you'll need to go to the controller settings on the console, then enter change controller grip. Once in this mode, you'll simply hold down the home button, which is the H button in the middle of the controller. You'll hold this down until the light starts flashing quickly. You'll notice there are two different speeds. It'll be the second faster set of flashing lights. Once the controller pops up onto your screen, then you're set and you're all ready to go. Now, if you're looking for a couple of ideas on what to use this controller with, then check out this video right here where we give three different gift ideas that you can give your father, but these will work for anybody as well who loves the Nintendo Switch, and this controller will work great with the games that are suggested in that video. As always, folks, if you found value in this video, I would greatly appreciate it if you could hit that thumbs up button, and I will see you in the next video.